be a bit of a bug. I, I, Vermont can't over repair. It's funny that it's actually look, looked like that. But um, they can't normally do it, so it must have been a bug. But apart from everything else, it looks like a bit of skirmishing is going on this side. The MP40 is doing a very good job. Now you might be asking me, what is the advantage of MP40s over the normal car 98 um, rifles? And well, I'll tell you that the MP40s are good at close range and they fire a lot faster than the rifles. So here we have a bit of a rocket barrage coming down. As you guys see, I actually went for the right hand side of the defensive uh, doctrine tree rather than the left hand side. I do not need the flak, um, flak because Ryan does not have much in terms of tanks it's, uh, apart from this uh, calliope. He has mostly infantry. So I went for the right hand side. I've got a lot of ammunition. So this investment of the rocket barrage, I said, okay, whatever. I'm just going to take out this medic station once and for, once and for all. Set Ryan back bit by bit and just prevent him from getting so many rifles because these rifles, I'm really starting to notice their numbers now. Wherever I go, there's always rifles and they're really starting to uh, um, get on my nerves, so to say. So I'm combating this with uh, my own Vox Grenadiers. I've got Pumas on the field. Uh, I've got MGs for suppress suppressing power and the Geshut's wagons are very doing a very good job at any sort of anti-tank um, sort of stuff. They've done a very good job so far taking the M8s out. Um, and we have that little uh, Nurbal Warfer from the very back of the map, very safe where he is, doing a good job. So here we have Ryan is just setting up a little front uh, attack at the moment. What this could be, I'm not too sure of at the moment. We'll have to see what Ryan is going to do there. He also has a bit of a setup attack over here, but my guess shoots wagon can see it. My guys can see this little squad over here. So my guess shoots wagon, being the automatic attacker, is going for a bit of attacks. Here we go, guys. This is what I'm going to mean about uh, mines. So the suppressing power coming down on the riflemen. Calliope first throwing down a few shots just to soften me up a bit before this frontal attack coming in. But the MG doing a very good job at suppressing all these units on the field. And Ryan <laughs> landing at last into my mine. This could look very bad for me. If these, um, even though uh, these riflemen were suppressed, the MG can obviously not target all units at the same time. So these, rif these uh, engineers could have gone up to me with their flames and taken me out in the building. Luckily, the mines keep on stressing this. 25 ammunition. They are totally worth the investment, guys. So go for it. I really I realize that I've got a few Geshu wagons on the field. I need to chase down Ryan. He is totally on the retreat at the moment. He has got some units in his field. I'm going to actually pause this because there's going to be something very exciting happening here. I'm chasing down Ryan on both sides. So two Geshu wagons here, um, two Geshu wagons here, and an M8 and a Puma. I realize that Ryan, all he has in terms of anti tag is the AT gun. So my Puma is going to do absolutely fine at taking out um, whatever else. All Ryan can do is throw stickies on me, and I know that's not going to be enough to take me out. It's coming in from two directions, I'm th thinking I'm going to take out his base right now. I'm going to chase him down with 224 ammunition. This is asking for a rocket barrage, especially when Ryan is on the retreat. So here we come. The rocket barrage flares coming down, and the explosion is just about to begin. There we go, taking mass casualties on Ryan. I'll let you guys watch the plumes as they go up in the air. So realizing this, um, the 200 ammunition and Ryan on the retreat, totally valid strategy. I'm constantly harassing Ryan's base. Um, so whenever I have that 200 ammunition, totally valid strategy, throw it down on his retreating units because they stop at their HQ. They can't retreat anywhere else, guys. So you might as well throw down some artillery and just totally wipe them out. But even despite that, Ryan still has a load of guys. This get shoots wagon is in bad position right now, but the um, get shoots wagons over here doing a very fine job at destroying Ryan's base. Unfortunately, I believe I'm going to lose this one, but I have to sacrifice it. Whilst they focus on this one, I'm going to retreat this one back as much as possible. And there's Ryan actually talking to me on Steam. So it seems like Imperial Dane and Ryan are very keen of trying to talk to me at the moment. But like I said, guys, Ryan is really down to the bone on in terms of um, in terms of what should I say in terms of munitions. So he can't do much on um, with stickies. He could throw them on me, but I could easily get away. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not. 
I'm realizing, okay, I've done a lot of damage. I'm not going to lose my Geshut Wagons, or else that's going to put me back um, just as far as Ryan at the moment. So I realized, okay, I'll go repair these guys before before they get destroyed, and that puts me in a bad position. Whilst that was all happening, I was cutting off Ryan, gaining ground with my infantry. Just to always be annoying. And here we go, just uh, some flanking squads coming in. The MG just about to set itself up on this uh, squad. I had about that Nurble Warfare shoot down just a bit earlier there. So always making effective use of my current units. So Ryan is very much so on the back foot right now, but he still has this Calliope. He still has all this... Um, all these infantry, all these riflemen, and Ryan obviously recognizing that I have the defensive front over here, throwing down a bit of Calliope fire. And as you guys might have noticed, I was just about to separate my guys there because whenever you're uh, having your guys grouped up and the and there's a Calliope on the field, you're just asking to be Calliope'd. Your blob is just asking to die, so you always got to make sure that you're separated because Calliope's do such a great job at pretty much everything. Taking out infantry, taking out tanks. But apart from that, I'm just rebuilding my forces at the moment. So this Geshut's wagon needs repaired. Uh, this Puma desperately needs repaired. This Geshut's wagon needs repaired. This Geshut's wagon needs repaired. Pioneer's just arriving on the field to get their job done. And so whilst my tanks aren't up to scratch right now, I still got quite a infantry force on the field. So no big worries. Still my Nurbelwerfers from across the field over here taking a bit of shots on these uh, riflemen who are just gathering up a bit. Now this is going to be a slight sort of rebuild of my units just to repair them. And then Ryan is going to have quite a bad day. And it looks like Ryan's actually putting down some mines, so he finally recognizes that my tanks are coming in from this side. He's finally putting down some uh, mines. So here we go, I'm just going to speed this up to maybe two times. Now this will look a bit silly, I know it's like sort of like a Benny Hill sort of thing. Um, but I will, I will slow it down in just a second once this has um, pretty much completed itself. So I'm going to slow it down to one second, or one times and I have 262 ammunition and now during the game here I was realizing okay I really want Ryan to retreat again because as soon as he does that I want to throw down a rocket barrage because my Geshu's wagon can easily scout for the site and that's what I'm gonna do here we go guys so the rocket barrage final rocket barrage making a very painful um, quick work of these of this infantry over here killing loads of them and now Ryan is very much so on the back foot he is desperately losing a lot of his infantry. His base is pretty much destroyed from my Geshut's Wagons attacks. And now I'm going to be focusing on his headquarters. So my Geshut's Wagons, they're getting repaired in a much better state than they were before. And so now it's going to be time to move them up and tr try and take out this Calliope, try and take out this uh, headquarters. And so that is my goal at the moment. So as you guys can see, just being a smart player, moving back my damaged Geshut's Wagon to get repaired, moving my repaired one um, forward, and just making good use. So unfortunately it looks like I'm dodging Ryan's mines here. Maybe it wasn't the best place, maybe you should have put them on the road, because by default the um, vehicles like to go on the road paths rather than off-road. So maybe it would be more smart if the mines are there. But this is looking very bad for Ryan. His base just about to go down his HQ. I'm thinking, okay, rather than winning this by points, I might as well make this a quick victory and try and take out his base buildings. Because as soon as his MG is out, as soon as his HQ is out, this is the end game for him. Okay, so let's speed this up a little bit more because it's just going to be the final few uh, moments of this game. And as you guys can see, obviously realizing that there's uh, quite a bit of guys still on the field. Another rocket brush coming down, totally trying to finish off Ryan now. I'm bringing in my infantry to mop up the rest of the guys. As you guys can see, just doing a sort of sweeping um, run by. Not a drive by, but a run by. Just going by and taking out all the guys. And now I know this is the end. I'm thinking to myself at the moment, okay, my all my infantry are grouped up. It's quite likely I might take um, 
some casualties from this Calliope if it fires. But luckily, the MG going down and the end of the game just about to happen. And here we go, that is the end of the game. So this is a friendly match between me and Ryan. I hope you guys enjoyed the sort of um, mind thinking that goes into my uh, sort of play. Um, obviously it's different from the usual sort of collaborations that I do because in the other replays I like to focus on purely entertainment and what is going on at the moment but when it comes to my own replays I like going and delving into my mind and hopefully do by doing that you guys can get a sense of what to do as well. So this is Krebs Coho. if you guys have any questions um, feel free to post and likewise if you have any replays then feel free to send them in. Anyway this is Krebs Coho, and see you guys later.